Hello everybody, Superman84 here, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This Let's Play we are doing is Sonic Riders on the Nintendo GameCube. Now this is something that I plan on doing this one, so let's get started on a new file and start the game. You can see we have five selections like normal race, story mode, tag mode, survival mode, and shop. So for today's episode, we are going to be doing the story mode and begin the hero story. So let's go. I think the signal's coming from around here. Hmm. That's really weird. It looks like something's jamming the radar signal. Huh? There! Watch that! Talking. Joke. <laughs> Later, losers. Oh, new competition. The best of the best, he says. Not just a race, but a special race to see who's the fastest. And these races are no holds barred. All contestants pay a simple entry fee of one chaos emblem, and the winner takes it all. So, let's see who among you dares to meet this challenge. Eggman again! Just what is he up to this time? And there's more! Before I forget, I'll present the current contestants. These players, they're hot. The best racers I can find. Hey, that's... The same birds that we bumped into that's last night. Grand Prix, huh? Let's do this! All right. Finish within the top three. All right, so here's our first stage, Metal City. I'm gonna try my best to summarize the gameplay as much as I can here. So the first things first you don't want to do is not get struck on the electric line. Because if you do, you'll start in dead last and you don't want that. You have to get a good timing on the start. Second, if you press the A button, which I'm about to show you right now, or hold the A button, you can perform a jump and do tricks. But don't hold the A button for too long because it will slow your momentum down. You have to ha 
time it right when you're close when you're closer to a ramp or when you're on a close to a, a ledge three you need to keep an eye on your air meter because your hoverboard is running on air which is your biggest priority in this entire game and if you're running out of air you're running on foot and you have to go to a pit stop and it takes a while to refuel four if you collect 30 rings your air meter levels up this means that your hoverboard can go faster your attacks are stronger and your gauge gets bigger five each character has three types of abilities such as speed fly and power so for example sonic here he is a speed type character and what speed type characters can do is that they can able to grind on rails and if you hold the R button in in turn you can actually do a uh, a a drift which also if you hold it for for longer you can also which also will give you a boost as well like right here all right we're almost done here and there we go Vision, two minutes and nine seconds. All right, on to the next one. Yeah, but what exactly is Eggman really after? Ah, oh, it can't be anything too important. Hey, Sonic! Huh? Amy? Don't tell me you've signed up, too! Of course! It really looks exciting and fun! Why wouldn't I join? And besides... This way, I'll be able to keep my eyes on me. Oh, Tails? Hmm... That Mark... Mark? Uh-huh! I think it was on the boards of those guys we ran into in Future City. Babylon. Babylon? Yes, the mark of the Babylon roads. A long time ago, there was a floating island known as Babylon Garden. Supposedly, robbers lived there. According to rumors, this legendary band, the Babylon Rogues, were great thieves. Legend also says that the Babylon rogues incurred the wrath of the gods because of their crimes and that the island was cast into the depths of the earth. After that, supposedly the Babylonians were then scattered for all time, never to be found. But they say that the Babylon rogues' treasure still remains on that island waiting to be discovered. There are also rumors that the Babylon rogues were extreme gear specialists. Still, how can a plank like that just float? That's easy to explain. According to the Cutter Joukowsky... Cutter Joukowsky? What the heck is the Cutter Joukowsky? ...balanced by the inverse kinetics of the... Stop! I get it, okay? It just floats, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> Who the heck is this hippie bird? Sorry, but it's just too funny. Huh? That gear's unusual. Customized it myself. Hmm. <laughs> well, I never imagined anyone would enter the race with such a piece of junk. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Thanks, though. It was good for a laugh. <laughs> See ya, Shorty. Oh, that girl! Who does she think she is? Yeah, how can she just walk in and diss tails? I know, and tinkering's all he's really good at, too. Wow. Thanks for the tip. The next race is about to begin. Please come to the gate, participants. I know how you feel, Tails. I know how you feel.
Okay, again, finish within the top three. Second stage, Splash Canyon. And we're playing as Miles Tails Per Hour. So, Tails is a fly type character. And what fly characters can do is that they can able to fly through the air or on these rings, like those right there. Here. And they can able to regain air. Now, I'm going to be real with you. The fly characters are so broken in this game. They can literally cut through the entire track, but not all of them. But they have a higher advantage than the speed and, and power characters. Now, I want to talk a little bit about tricks because the game encourages you to do tricks. When you're going over the ramps, the more tricks you land, the more air you'll get. So in order to do multiple tricks, you have to move the control stick in multiple directions. But you got to be careful when to stop because if you don't land your tricks right, you're not going to get any air at all. Um, if you form a front flip on this ramp here, you are able to get to that upper part of the track. There are going to be times you are in these automatic sections where you can rotate the control stick to regain air. So when you see these ramps that has these rings, you do not want to press the A button. Otherwise, you won't be able to fly through them. If you perform a backflip on this ramp here, a rainbow will appear. Right, 46.50, we're in the final lap. That's all right. See if we can make it up here. Okay, no, we can't, but that's all right. And that's it. Two minutes and 18 seconds. All right, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like or a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.